NEW AT FIVE, A CREATIVE APPROACH TO HELPING SOME OF THE FAMILIES SUFFERING IN UKRAINE. PEOPLE ARE NOW PAYING FOR AIRBNBs THEY WILL NEVER STAY IN. CBS 2 SABRINA FRANZA SPOKE TO ONE RENTER HERE IN THE FAR SOUTHWEST SUBURBS AND THE FAMILY IN UKRAINE THAT SHE RENTED FROM. SABRINA, I KNOW THIS WAS AN EMOTIONAL MEETING. THIS MEETING WAS REMARKABLE. THERE WERE TEARS. IT WAS THE POWER OF THE INTERNET CONNECTING PEOPLE IN THEIR TIME OF NEED. It's a thumb. It's a thumb. FOR US SEEING THAT PEOPLE FROM OTHER COUNTRIES JUST WILLING TO GIVE THEIR MONEY AWAY uh, SO EASILY IN SUCH uh, HUGE AMOUNTS, IT'S uh, VERY SUPPORTING AND VERY INSPIRING. Bagirov AMIR IS ALONE, WITHOUT HIS FAMILY IN KIEV. So well. NOW HE HAS FRIENDS LOOKING OUT FOR HIM a world away. I wanted to do that in order to send some funds directly to them if they could use it. Lenore Erickson is in Morris, 65 miles southwest of Chicago. She rented his Airbnb property and got this response for the dates she requested. Quote, we're not even sure that we'll be alive until then. She had no plans of visiting Ukraine, only for her reservation to serve as a donation. It's right there. It's right at her fingertip. Show it to now. Yeah, thanks you very much. You are a superhuman. It's a literal yeah. translation. Amir sent his two daughters and three-year-old son to Romania for safekeeping. His son, and he's young, he's three years old, and it's, it's hard for him to explain why that is not with him right now, why he can go to his dad and why that can come to Romania. As we shot this Zoom, shots rang out. Most likely uh, Ukrainian artillery shooting in Russian positions. Airbnb told us this is a growing trend to get money straight to families and to remove their normal fee. The world has, I think, uh, been, you know, looking at this devastation and, and wondering how they can help. You ever come to the United States? We'll be having a place for you. After this is over, these two people turn friends, have plans of reconnecting. And they're waiting for you too. So everybody's waiting for everybody. Amir tells us that he plans on using 50% of the money to feed himself and his family. The other 50% goes straight to the Ukrainian military. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.